don't remember how to turn this into uh, the right mode. Control L. Thank you. I know how to do it with some tools and not with others. Hey, there we go. Next up is uh, the guy who really should have gotten credit for being the best bowler uh, the other night. Uh, I did redirect the trophy. I don't know how the things got messed up, but he outbowled me by a lot, so uh, whole bunches. Uh, but anyhow, to talk about DNSSEC, EDNS, and TCP, here's uh, Dwayne Vessels. So this is this is kind of a follow-up talk to um, Suzanne's from yesterday. Um, I'm going to start by going backwards in time a little bit. <clears throat> um, at the top here it says 2007, but this is actually data from 2006 that shows EDNS buffer sizes received at one of the root servers, effort in this case. And so back then, 60% um, of queries had actually no EDNS at all, and um, about 20% had, uh, well, 40% had EDNS, 20 with 20% with 4K, and uh, the rest with 2K. And if you look at um, the situation today, this, this is actually from uh, c.rootservers.net, um, you see that uh, now there's only the number of queries that don't have EDNS are, are down quite a bit to 40%. Um, but what's troubling is this, um, this little bit down here, this yellow, these are um, queries arriving at the root with EDNS buffer size set to 512 bytes. Um, what, what wasn't clear from that data is, is whether those queries also have the, the, the DO bit set. And um, this graph, w which is um, also fairly recent, this is from data in, in March, April this year, shows um, down here that, that this, little, this little green bit shows that um, those queries that have EDNS uh, buffer size 512 also have the, the DO bit set. And as we're moving towards signing the root, um, this looks like it could be a problem. So um, a, a couple of weeks ago, .org was signed, and the, the folks at Affilius and PR were very nice to share some data with us at DNSOARC, and um, the rest of this talk is about, is about that data. So this graph shows um, the, the few hour period around the time when they signed. Um, the, the, the top, is the green shows UDP queries, this purple shows um, UDP queries coming in with EDNS buffer size 512. The blue shows um, UDP responses where the truncated bit was set. And the red shows TCP queries. And it's, it's quite clear that uh, at the time when they signed, there was a, a pretty big spike in, in TCP queries coming in. Of course, note that the, the scale here is logarithmic. So um, before signing, they were getting less than one TCP query per second. Um, after signing, they're getting, I don't know, maybe 75 queries per second. Um, I should also note, by the way, that this is from um, their, their node called YYZ1, which, um, from what I understand, is, is uh, not necessarily their busiest node. This is one of their lower, lower traffic nodes. So this graph shows. Um, the response codes for for TCP queries here, um, something like 80% are are successful responses. That is, they're they're not NX domains. About 20% are NX domains, but the 80% are um, for names that exist. The, obviously, the data prior to to signing here is is very noisy, and, and it's it's hard to <laughs> hard to draw any conclusions about what's going on there. Um, Similarly, this, this data shows um, the, the query types for those, for those TCP queries coming in. So we've got about um, 60 to 70% A queries, some MX and some, some quad A's. And um, for comparison, this, the next one shows um, the same breakdown for UDP queries. So they're, they're, they're sort of similar, although um, you'll notice that, that in the, in the T, there's less MX in the TCP, and there's um, there's more quad A in the TCP. <clears throat> so we also did a pretty simple um, an, uh, analysis of of the clients sending those TCP queries using FPDNS, um, and you know a couple caveats with FPDNS: it, it hasn't really been updated in a few years, and um, 
you know, it, it only it only gives you sort of rough rough ranges of, of software versions. But um, and, and again, this the analysis was done a couple weeks after the the data was collected, so that that could perhaps account for the large percentage of unknowns. But the the percentage that was known, it's um, sort of overwhelmingly identified as is a, a late version of Bind, and I, I suspect that um, you know since FBDNS haven't hasn't been updated, Bind 9.4 is probably the the latest version that it that it can uh, print out. So um, you know one interesting thing is is one of the RFCs sort of says that if you're going to do DNSSEC, you you must support at least 100, uh, 1220 octets in your eDNS buffer sizes. But there's a uh, there was a change in by 9.5, which, off the top of my head, I don't know what when this was. I'm guessing a couple years ago, um, where it will do fallback to to uh, 512 bytes if if it's getting timeouts and things like that. Um, that's that's all the data I have to show. Uh, I'd I'd hope to be able to tell you that um, that OARC actually has a, a tool ready to um, that that you could use to go and, and test your own infrastructure and see um, what size responses you're able to receive, um, but that's that's not ready yet. So maybe look for that in a in a week or so. Hope to be able to announce that. Um, and until then, are there any questions about the data? Thanks. Thanks very much, Dwayne.